Season of the Haunted is officially here, and with it comes two new, well, <laughs> new-ish sets of weapons that we can chase after. In this pursuit of these weapons, we have the Opulent set, which is a returning set, including the Elstringer and the beloved big, big classics and favorites from the past. And we have the new Seasonal set, which is the Haunted set of weapons. And the cool thing about these sets is that you can farm for them both at the same time, and you can really chase them both down. To go further, every one of these weapons including our very first hand cannon, is craftable. So if you get five of the resonant border weapons, and with these strategies in this video, you can get them, you are going to be able to craft your very own god roll hand cannon, sniper, so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the best set out of these two, and that is the opulent weapons. First, stop what you're doing and go to your ghost. Equip the mod called Wombo Detector. This thing locates caches and, of course, the chests in the vicinity of you that will basically have a chance to drop you an opulent key. The opulent key is therefore used in the opulent chest to give you, obviously, an opulent weapon. That being said, there are two ways to get these opulent weapons. One of which is, of course, finding these keys. Now, these keys drop from basically any chest to seasonal activities. If you're on the Leviathan and you're doing the seasonal activity and you basically find the boss and that chest opens up, there's a chance a key can come from it. If you're in the baths and you're just messing around, you know, and you see a random chest or an HVT drops one from one of the activities or the public events in the area, that can drop one. One cool tip, and this is something I see a lot of people forget to do, is once you complete the seasonal activity, you bound the boss, you looted the thing, the chest pops open, you'll notice there's a timer on the left side of your screen, and it'll say something like two of the doors have opened in the area. And that's exactly the case. What's going to happen is there are two more chests that you can loot after you complete that seasonal activity, in the surrounding area. This is where that Wombo Detector mod on your ghost comes into play. So if you start roaming about the area, that entire Castellum, that atrium area there, you will notice the icon for a chest somewhere through the wall. You go up to it, you activate a lever or a switch, it opens a door and you can loot a chest. The second and most direct way is to of course focus Umbral Ingrams into this. To do this, you're going to have to have at least four of these seasonal upgrade tokens to put towards the Hive artifact inside of the helm. Once you do this, you can start rolling these things with the seasonal umbral energy. You need 27 of each of these to go for something like the Beloved. That being said, that's a very hefty price, seeing as how when you complete the seasonal activity at the base without any upgrades to your artifact, you only get 7 of those, which means 4 seasonal activity runs will yield only 1 of those weapons. And then you're going to need a handful of those to even get your first red bordered variant of it. But at least you can specifically target the weapon you're looking for, making it the most direct way for you to find the gun that you want to eventually get to crap. So find keys, open chests, get loot. The other way is to do the seasonal activity, build up the seasonal umbral energy, gather some umbral ingrams, and focus those into the weapon that you specifically need to farm for. As for the seasonal weapons, that's uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Do seasonal activities. You get out there when you do the seasonal activity and you bind the boss, the boss is put out, you can interact. If you have the 500 materials necessary, you can interact with that artifact. That chest opens up. These are two ways that you can get seasonal pieces of gear from the seasonal activity. Furthermore, you can do the missions like Sever if you have the resources necessary and hit that chest at the end. Those are far more rare and harder to come by, but they definitely yield really solid loot if you do want to go ahead and do that just to even keep it fresh. Furthermore, the only other way for you to get seasonal weapons currently in armor is by going to the helm itself. With the Hive Artifact, every time you rank up that artifact, you are given one of the Ingrams. That could, of course, be armor, that could be weapons, a lot of RNG. I did actually get my very first Red Border from one of those Ingrams. And another thing you can do is eventually focus Umbrals as well into those seasonal weapons, just like you can the Opulent weapons. My strategy, I spend about 10 minutes building up those resources so that I can hit the seasonal artifact for 500 to tap. And I spend 10 or 15 minutes just roaming in one of those targeted areas, hitting the chest whenever it spawns using the Wombo Detector, killing the HVTs, opening every chest I can, and hoping to get at least a couple opulent keys in the process to maybe get me a red bordered Owl Stringer or Beloved. That is what I do. And then when I have all of that set and done, I go run the seasonal activity, hopefully get some keys from that, and then again, go hit those chests. So they kind of work together. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, and I'll catch you with another soon.